In the NFL's loudest stadium, the Steelers relied on their killer bees to sting the Chiefs. Third and 10 from their own 25. Here's a delayed blitz. Ben gets hit, steps up, throws the ball down down the field. There's a man open. That was Antonio Brown at his spectacular best. You will not believe what you're about to see out here. Justin Houston is one on one. An outside linebacker one on one against arguably the best receiver in the game. Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell combined for 278 yards of offense, but couldn't find the end zone. The newest killer bee, Chris Boswell, provided all of Pittsburgh's points, kicking a postseason record six field goals. It's not going the way we want it to go right now, but right here is where championship team turn it around. We're going to win this game, but you got to believe it. Facing James Harrison, the NFL's oldest defensive player, was a problem for former first overall pick Eric Fisher. Smith back there by himself. He's hit. He is set. I'm just blessed to be able to still play this game at, at, at 38 years old. James Harrison against Eric Fisher. And James Harrison just takes the edge on him. At age 38, he's been the best player on the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. After the Chiefs closed the gap to two, another tangle between Harrison and Fisher provided the game's turning point. The Chiefs need to get a two-point conversion here to tie the game. And here we go, season on the line for the Kansas City Chiefs. Alex Smith will hold it. Fires it late, wide open! Harris in the back of the end zone! Two point conversion with a flag on the play. Hang on. Holding. Number 72 offense. 10 yard penalty. That is a holding call that I get maybe once every blue moon. You know? I don't know how it's not caught more often when the guy's arm is wrapped around your, you know, your neck. I believe that's a hold. Eric Fisher is six foot seven. James Harrison may be six feet. He dips underneath and watch what Eric Fisher does. He gets him hooked around the shoulder pads, a little grab, the officials right there. And those two points come off the board. You can't have uh, penalties and things of that sort. So Fish got called for one that, uh, you know, I. When you're playing as a shorter player, that, that can go either way. I mean, I, was, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm curious to see that on tape. Obviously, I'm frustrated with the call. Uh, you know, with the game on the line, and you know, for me to let the team down, it's uh, it's gonna be a hard one to let go. For it to end like that, with the the ref literally taking it out of our hands, um, that hurts. That wasn't a hold on my guy Eric Fisher, and sure enough. It, I hope 7-2 doesn't go the entire offseason thinking it was his fault. That was, uh, that was horse This sucks. Just get our jugulars ripped out because ref felt bad for James Harrison falling on the, the ground. Um, it's ignorance. The ref number 51 shouldn't even be able to wear a zebra jersey ever again. He shouldn't even be able to work footlocker. The Chiefs' second attempt to tie the game failed. And Davis knocks it away, and the Chiefs trail 18 to 16. So the champions, you are right here. Respond right now, right now. Kansas City was out of timeouts. All Pittsburgh needed was a third down conversion to advance to the franchise's 16th AFC championship game. Flushed out of the pocket, rolling right. Throws it on the run. First down, well, Antonio Brown. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little excited, got a little excited, got a little excited. 
Houston could not hang with Antonio Brown, who made the catch at the right boundary. You know, you want the ball in your hands. You know, I, I, I love that situation. We called a play to, to get, you know, some crossing stuff, and my new A.B. was coming across the field, and uh, I think it was Houston dropped underneath A.B., and A.B. went behind him. Really, it was just about letting him clear and just putting the ball on him and letting him make the play. I'm sure that play won't make Sports Center, won't make all the highlights, but talk to guys in that locker room, and that's probably one of the biggest plays of the game. And the Pittsburgh Steelers advance to the AFC Championship game next Sunday in New England.